Okay, so last time I said that we would start off the next uh, lecture with a brief example. So I gave you a design example where we were supposed to design a class DPA for an output power of 20 dBm using a supply voltage of 1.2 volts and assuming a Q network of 4. Well, if you weren't able to do this, it was uh, my mistake. Uh, this is impossible to do with a, a Q network of 4 given the switch resistance of a half an ohm. So instead, let's just make the Q network six. Okay, so the first thing we need to realize is that the output power equal to 20 dBms means that the linear output power or power in milliwatts is 100 milliwatts. From this output power of 100 milliwatts, we can make a substitution and find the optimum termination resistance that this PA would need to drive. We find that the optimum termination resistance is 1.9 ohms. So now the problem is to take the matching network that I've drawn, this tapped capacitor matching network, and make it uh, to where it transforms 50 ohms to R opt is equal to 1.9 ohms. One additional piece of information that I didn't give was that the frequency of operation would be 2.4 gigahertz. So I'm going to use that for the time being. Now, I like to do this match uh, where I break up the match, uh, the tap capacitor match into two uh, L section matches. Uh, and uh, uh, we're going to go from 50 ohms to an intermediate impedance. And then we're gonna go from the intermediate impedance uh, to 1.9 ohms. So if you'll recall uh, from our earlier lessons, the intermediate impedance is chosen based upon the quality factor. And the quality factor is the sum of the quality factors of the two networks. and if we follow the matching principle that uh, I had described earlier, the intermediate impedance for this uh, to, in, to have a Q network of six ends up being uh, equal to 60 ohms. So you can use a Smith chart or you can uh, do the uh, series to parallel uh, transformations uh, in order to find the component values for these uh, parts. Uh, but uh, I've already done the uh, calculation and if you were to find these uh, parts, uh, you should get the following values. So we have from the 1.9 ohm side, a 0.7 nano Henry inductor and a six picofarad capacitor. And on the 50 ohm side, we have an 8.8 .8 nano Henry inductor and a 2.9 picofarad capacitor. Now, the last thing we do is we combine these two susceptive components, the, uh, the capacitor and the inductor in parallel. And uh, the net uh, is a capacitor that has a value of about 5.5 picofarads. So in the end, uh, here's our class D circuit that would put out 20 dBms uh, using a 1.2 volt supply, a Q network of six, and assuming that the transistors were sized, sized to, to give a switching resistance of about half an ohm. Now, this doesn't say anything about the quality factor of the individual components uh, or the uh, input power that it would take to drive the uh, MOS transistors that would result in a switching resistance of a half an ohm, uh, but it does give you an idea of the calculations that you need to make in order to design a class D power amplifier. So please remember to like, uh, uh, review, and uh, subscribe, uh, and I welcome any comments and feedback. Uh, and we'll stop there for the day and continue on uh, with linearization next.